Hey guys, um, it's me, hello, and today, you know, if you just watched my Windows 10 widget video, um, here's a more in-depth, so it's just a little short, more in-depth, so you get a better grasp of how to use it. So, in the last video I showed you that Windows 10 widgets, this is how you pick your widgets, you can change the size, here's how you take away the skin, and this is just rain meter. You don't really need to worry about rain meter. If you open it, it just shows you. But it lets you change the attributes of it. So, like my battery, for example. I'm not using battery. Date and time. See, right? If it's placed, the coordinates will come up. So, right? So let's say, here's, here's something, if you were to settings, hide over mouse, right? But then, what? I don't want to hide over mouse anymore. Now you can't grab it. Right? So, simple. You click on another widget, rain meter. Oh my god, right? We need to fix that. So, date and time. You find the one that has coordinates. Oh, on hover high. So if you do nothing, it does nothing. Okay? And here you can also refresh all of them so it gets the accurate information, just starts over. And <clears throat> so, for this one, custom skin, right? Auto locate, imperial metric, all that here. There's variants. Variants are like the different sizes. Settings, right? Okay. Edit skin, right? You can edit the skin. This is like code, so if you know how to do that, right? Here you have, you can select it from your available drive. So let's say I want to change to my drive S. See? It tells you how much stuff. This is a drive. I didn't realize I had for my computer until like after I filled up drive C. I'm surprised it's only 200 gigabytes though. Drive E, this one just <laughs> um, and I have this drive too, drive F, right? So you can select any of your drives. I'm using drive C because that's my main drive, obviously. And here you can the variants, right? Also for the USB. Go to Windows 10 widgets. You can also pick them individually. So where it's just a giant CPU. So yeah, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. So um, you can refresh skins individually, manage skins, right? It takes you here instead of doing the rain meter. But if you can't select the skin when it disappears on mouse click, you have to do the rain meter, obviously. So custom skin actions are here. Right, it's pretty easy to understand just after a little bit of using it. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a good day.